Hello, and welcome to the Retro Roulette. It's not the NBA All-Star Game. Thank God for that. Uh, I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is the <laughs> Dwayne Wade to my LeBron James, Dane Forgione. Thank you. You're welcome. Also with me is uh, Jason Amherst. Hello there. And Billy Carter. There were tons of ads on the ground. Yeah, they had that LED thing. Of course, by the time you guys see this, it's mid March by the time this is airing. But we, uh, so March Madness. Welcome will be to March happening. Madness, yeah, everybody. Exactly. March Madness would be happening. But we, we, we're taping this like literally like the day after All Star Weekend. Uh, it's President's Day the day we're recording this, as a matter of fact. You know, I, um, I'm so very flattered that you called me Dwayne Reed because now I'm a three time NBA champion. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's yeah, but what wonderful. was LeBron? Mm. Um, uh, no time in BHA. Uh, he, uh, eleven seven time. He was actually he, he has he has four. Okay. He has four. All right. So I'm good. So we're we're even basically almost. At the I well, I mean, a lot it's of not people like, like one of like, us. Oh. Is, I'm not saying one of us is better than the other. The stats say that. Let's spin this. Well, a lot of people. <laughs> a lot of people like to say, "Oh, the." The the one in the bubble from 2020 doesn't count because that was just a fucking consolation prize. But a championship Ooh. is a championship. Yeah, J- Jace just about jinxed us. <laughs> you'll see, uh, you'll no. know when you see the episode. Uh, uh, I no, would no. remind you that I believe I don't even remember how many vetoes we have. You know, I think we have basketball games. I believe we have basketball two. games aren't my the only thing that I ever automatically veto is golf games. I, I'll, okay. I'm willing to give basketball games a shot. Ha! He, here's the thing. I'm also like, willing to golf give basketball games, games a shot. on the Super Come Nintendo on. were awful. Um, most golf games after the Super Nintendo basically just play as boring versions of Mario Golf after that. I was going to say, my one caveat is if we played Mario Golf, I would, I would let Mike play Mario Golf. Yeah, because well, Mario, Mario Golf is fun. Golf. Or if we ever played uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force Zombie Pro Am or whatever that's called. Oh yeah, that Zombie Pro Am. Yeah, yeah. That's there, a, that's there a, are a, a lot of games. games. Like uh, there's there's uh, what was it? Dungeon Golf is one of them. Uh, there's What the Golf Golf Story. Uh, there's there's a lot of good golf games. Golf out. They just have nothing to do with golf out. I don't know. Uh, Golf with your friends. Yeah. Golf with your friends is a good one. Oh yeah, that game is good. So this is a this is ninety eight. This game in the in the zone ninety eight, which means it would have come out in ninety seven. So then that would be the let's see what the finals were that year. It was the the Jays and the Boos. I'm gonna. I think you can do computers, so I'm gonna put it on super challenge just to make it. Interesting. Computer versus computer. And that was the. Gotta, that was gotta the love time. hearing those samples. That. <laughs> and that this was the time where, where uh, the um, uh, uh, bash at the beach in '98 happened, and and. Uh, uh, oh yeah! Didn't, Robin... Dennis Rob... didn't that happen around the same time as the finals, and Dennis Rodman got in trouble for going to the pay per view and wrestling? Yes. Uh, no, it was after. It was after he he came. Uh, he got in trouble. He came for skipping to a, a nitro, actually. I believe, yeah, or the, skipping a, yeah, the going game to go to a nitro. But yes. Oh, uh, hey, yeah, wait a second. Hold yeah. on a minute. So, I'm guessing Michael Jordan was persona non, non grata in that they didn't have the rights to him because I I, I tend to notice he's not in this lineup. It's possible. Uh, yep. Nah. Uh, yeah, again, like. He, very expensive. Very, very expensive, Douglas. Very expensive. <laughs> I mean, remember, Michael Jordan wasn't in any video games aside from that really weird platformer on the Super Nintendo. Oh, uh, Michael Chaos Jordan in the, the Windy, Windy City. City. Wasn't he in? Uh, yeah. uh, wasn't he in Jordan versus Bird? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it has his name in it. <laughs> yeah. There. There was that one too. Was Michael Jordan Just in like that game a, that has his name in it? No. <laughs> Charles Barkley was only in like Barkley Shut Up and Jam. Shut up and Jam, Guy Den. No. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, now that's a fun game. They they now they That's put Jordan game. in just about every game 
now and you know it's and like then, a uh, legacy player. Shaquille O'Neal wasn't in any games aside from Shaq Fu. Somebody got oh, fouled. That's right. That's right. I was in Shaq Fu. I beat up some aliens. Oh. Ron Harper, Dennis Radman. Dennis Radman, yeah. Our the guard. Worm. Our guard. That's a roster guard. Gee, I, That's probably. Gee, I wonder, I wonder which one's supposed to be Michael Jordan. That's probably Michael Jordan, yeah. A pasty one. So, guy. Uh, so we had a uh, little one day convention apparently in uh, Rhode Island uh, last yeah. weekend that. Uh, Front of the show, uh, Rick Tarasi had a table at, and his table was supposed to be near uh, Matt Riddle, uh, and uh, Riddle no showed. <laughs> <laughs> he Gee, imagine that. He was probably high. Oh, uh, so I'm looking for Quahog, Rhode Island. I I wanted to meet Brian Griffin. I heard he had some good weed. Hey, you, you think? You think if I if I met Meg Griffin we could make out? Probably. Like bro, <laughs> I heard Chris was a bro. Bro, yeah. she's, loose. she's loose as fuck nowadays. <laughs> she got that stank ass pussy. Yeah. <laughs> you said it, not me. I don't know why I said it like that, and I don't know why I said it just period. So please ignore me. <laughs> <laughs> So, Bill didn't hear this news. Um, What's that? I bit the bullet and I got myself the Sega Nomad. Oh, no, I know about that. Oh, okay. So, I was looking for a couple of games to purchase. Uh, I got Mutant League Coffee. I got awesome. Dick Tracy. Nice. I would awesome. question nice. if you were actually Dane Ford Joan if you did get Mutant League Coffee. I'm going to be getting WWF Royal Rumble. Nice. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good choice. I wanted okay. to get I wanted to get a game called Musha because I it looked really cool. Oh, it's expensive. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's an understatement. Fucking the You can fucking, just play that on the Switch online. The fucking motherfuckers on eBay want $900. I'm like you can just all kiss the fattest part of my ass. Well, it, it was it Busha was a blockbuster exclusive. You could only run it. Yeah. Uh, whatever. I just this is why we can't have nice things. Yeah. Yeah. But it's if like, you get it's your like st- the if you clay get... fighter director sculpt or uh final fight guy. The if other you... one yes. Hey, if you get yourself a, a a a multi cart more than likely, uh, Musha will be on there. There was a game that was recommended to me uh, called Shakan the Forever Man. Oh, you like that. I watched I some that. footage of it. I watched some footage of it, and I'm like, this this actually looks pretty cool. Apparently, it's based on a comic book. Yes. Yes. This, uh... You know, for a game that's supposed to be uh, between the top two teams in the NBA, this is kind of boring. Why are they uh, passing into uh, this? What are they doing down there? What the fuck is going on here? They're passing it back and forth between the two of them for like a a million years. Waste the entire shot clock, why don't you? And Carl Malone didn't even jam it. He went up like he was going to jam it, and then he's like, nah, I changed my mind. Car below, there was a game called Jam It, and you didn't jam it. <laughs> you idiot. You used to be the mailman. Well, well what? Return to sender? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now you're just UPS. Oh. <laughs> I had a visit from Emily, so I had a mute. So, uh, that's what I, that's what I, I say. I wanna... when I'm, that's what I call it when I'm going to the bathroom. You that's you call it a visit from Emily? Yeah. <laughs> that's 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 weird. Because she usually has Ugh, not a lot to offer to us, and what she does offer kind of stinks. <laughs> wow. Yeah. yeah, I'll admit that. <laughs> See, Billy gets it. <laughs> but I am her older brother, so I can say things like that. Shut up, Mike. <laughs> I was gonna say you're insulting a thirteen year old, like. 
Mike, come well, on. She called us bitches, Dane. What do you want? <laughs> oh, in that case, fuck her. Yeah, sure. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Go listen to the Depeche Mode, you turd. <laughs> do, be, do kids still do that? I mean, I don't, I don't know. Their heyday do kids was even know, 30 years ago, but... Do kids today even know what Depeche Mode is? I mean, they're still no, around. They they're don't. still releasing music. Yeah, that's true. I think one of them just died recently. Really? Yeah. That's ter- that's terrible. That is terrible. Makes me feel old. That's oh. terrible. That's the Spaniards. That is terrible. That is that El Terrible. Is. That is El Terrible. Oh my gosh! That one is of them El did Terrible. Die. Yeah, sure. One of them died in twenty. 20- Andy Fletcher, whoever yeah. that was. I don't know. But he died. He died. Yeah, so, uh, Billy, I went on a uh, spending spree on Play Asia recently. Yeah. I thought you were going to tell him you went on a vision uh, quest. <laughs> he had a lot of peyote and a lot of crack, and he had a great... Jeez. Uh, well, I understand the crack that's easy to come by in Massachusetts, but peyote, what are you talking about? <laughs> they had a three for a hundred sale, and I had a couple of $5 off coupons. Yeah. And uh, so I got uh, River City Rival Showdown, Ooh, River good. City Girls 1 and 2, uh-huh. uh, Comadro Remelia Scarlet Symphony. Uh-huh. I don't know what seven, I don't know what seven are. of those words are. <laughs> okay. Uh, Toho Project, but Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Uh, okay. Yes. I'm not, I'm not a fan of the Metroidvania Castlevanias. So. Yeah. Uh, then uh, Final Fantasy X to, to remaster. Whoa. Final Fantasy Rin Ten Ten Canine Cop. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Uh, it's it's the international uh, version. Wow! So get this dog to shut on up. One cartridge. <laughs> uh, Final Fantasy Nine and Dot Hack Gu Last Recode. Dot Hack. Last Rico. Yep. You know, I, I mentioned former WWE I mentioned this... wrestler Rico. I mentioned this on my uh, podcast for the performers I know when Jace was a guest. Um, he could tell me the name of a... Well, he, 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 this was meant about animes, but this is also... This can also uh, talk about games. He could tell me there's a game where there's a giant sentient basketball that, that kicks people in the crotch. Yep. And I, I don't know if I would... I'd just be like, are you are, are you messing with me? Oh, yeah, I know that game. It's uh, Super Basketball Crotch uh, 64. It came out only in Japan. For one for one hour. <laughs> and it's never going to happen yeah. again. It was a ja- it I was, mean, it was there intended are some as... great weird games over yeah. the years. It was a Japanese rental. Sadly, rentals are thing. illegal what in was... Japan, so it didn't come out. Maybe Jason, maybe Jason Bill could help me with this. What was the... There was some weird ass Japanese arcade game where, like, it, it, the the control was just a big butt. Bunga bunga, bunga it, bunga, like... bunga bunga. I love, by the way, that you said J- Jason Billy could help you with that, and the answer came from me. Well, the fact <laughs> that the three of you answered that almost immediately, I have several questions. Well, well, remember <laughs> I, I told you the story. It. Well, yeah, I've played Listen, it before. I'm not answering any questions, and stop looking at the tent in my pants. The local game shop, and I've told this story before about the homeless guy in that game. Oh, didn't he like splooge all over it or oh, something? Oh God, or yeah, he yeah. told that story a couple times. Yeah, <laughs> I think he's told would it you on like this me to show. Te- would you like me to tell it again? No, I would prefer uh, not because I would, it was. Just, I it was the brain bleach after, after the last moment. moment. <laughs> would you like to see me do it again? No. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you mean you're gonna splooge on the Boonga Boonga arcade cabinet? <laughs> I would hope oh. not. Oh God, there he went. He did it. Oh my oh, God! Oh. We gotta clean the ejaculate off the vinyl bum. Oh, uh, who who pooped on the say. missile command? <laughs> <laughs> I was in command of my missile that say, day. <laughs> as far as weird Japanese arcade machines go, my favorite is still flip the table. Oh, Lord, I love that arcade. Um, I love table, that table, one. Table, 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 
is, is, is that exactly what you think it is? It's just oh, there's some yeah. table. I was like, what's going on here? It, it's 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 a table attached to the machine, and some sort of situation is going on. Uh, you get your choice of a bunch of different things, and stuff goes on in the scene. For example, like it's a family dinner, and you have to pick the most opportune moment during the scenario to flip the table to cause maximum damage for points. Okay. Yeah, like the table goes flying, crashes into a bunch of things, chaos ensues. Huh, all right, well... Oh, okay, there you go. This is it's... what it looks like. I posted it in the uh, the, the Discord chat. If, my, if future Mike wants to put a picture up... It's, it's, it's a reference to a, uh, a Japanese uh, idiom about uh, the uh, Japanese father who upends the tea table when they are upset, um, which is which is said of like business people when, uh, when when something is said that they disagree with, that they upend the table. Uh, Shigeru Miyamoto apparently was infamous for being this kind of person. Uh, oh, yeah. When discussing game ideas, well, not to go off on a tangent, but have ever have you guys ever seen video footage of the Japanese diet when they start brawling with each other? Actually, I have seen footage of like the freaking shit going down in Japanese politics, and you go, "Holy crap!" I mean, then we again, need this shit to happen in America. Then again. <laughs> Several wrestlers in Japan have been on the Japanese diet. Yeah. Uh, Kenji Muto, I believe, and Antonio Inoki, a couple yep. others. Uh, Sasaki. Atsushi Onida, yep. he, was, he was there. So, yeah. Speaking of Japan, uh, the boy in the heron just picked up uh, best animated feature at the BAFTAs. Cool. That's a good time. Yeah. Uh, I, I, you know, speaking, towards speaking the uh, Oscars. Of, speaking of awards, uh, I saw a video. I think Chase might have posted it of the behind the scenes of the Godzilla minus one special effects. Yeah. If they don't get the fucking award, oh god, yeah, there will be a travesty. What the fuck is that guy doing? That, oh, there yeah. we go. that that movie's beautiful. It's just oh, the, God. The cinematography for what they did beautiful. with that budget. It's amazing. Fifteen million, fifteen million, and they've made over a billion. Mm. And mm. and the fact that like just the water effects alone of Godzilla swimming through the water, it's like oh, that's five terabytes of data, and I'm going. Christ. I Jesus. That <laughs> if they face. they're gonna either give it they're gonna give it to either Guardians of the Galaxy or fucking Mission Impossible, which will be a fucking disgrace. Yeah, considering like what they were able to do on that budget and what they did, it's like, come on, really? That face of Godzilla when he's swimming through the water is frightening. Yeah. The look on that monster's face that whole time. I would be peeing myself if I was on that boat. And the look rapping. on that monster's face. The look yeah. on that monster's face as he's trying to sell Subway sandwiches. It, no, I mean... Hey, I, they, hey you they monster. Godzilla, hey, you monster. Get away from those kids. They made Ooh. Godzilla look frightening. They made him frightening. Yeah, I mean, there, there were little kids in the theater at that movie, and they were scared out of their minds. They were pooping and peeing everywhere. It was crazy. <laughs> but, I mean, it's like you look at the best special effects nominees, and it's like, oh, it's another Marvel movie. Oh, oh it's fucking Tom Cruise wank fest. But a fucking Napoleon. I thought you were gonna say Tom Cruise wank pheasant. No. Well, Any, Roman Reigns is a go, wank pheasant. That's fair. Anybody going to go see uh, <laughs> Bob, the Bob Marley movie? You know, nah. I two of my friends went to see it, and they both said it was really good. Hmm. 
Thoughts on NBA in the zone 98, Dane? And What's up, Doc? It's basketball. It's it's okay. I mean, the the computer seemed to go a little fucking off the deep end at some points. Yeah. But it's it's an enjoyable game. It's not like terrible, but yeah. It Jason. was just okay. Oh, sorry. Jason the AI seems horribly glitched on the hardest difficulty, which is kind of hilarious because you'd think that, you know, on the hardest difficulty, you know, you'd be seeing like a high scoring game and, and er- like 22 to 30 on the highest difficulty. Wow. Yeah. True. It's true. Billy. It's a competent basketball game. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's, that's that's just about all I could say about it. Yeah, it's, yeah. Ka- it's Konami. Konami they, went for more have... of a simulator than uh, than like an arcadey game, which is kind of shocking. Yeah, I was gonna say it's Konami. They haven't gone off the deep end yet. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yet. Yeah. Compare, compare that to uh, their upcoming Silent Hill Two from Bloober Team. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, yeah. In any event, yeah, it's a it's a competent. Uh, sports game, and I can't find that much fault with it. Yeah, the AI is a little weird, but outside of that, Jazz it looks wins. like it plays fine. Yeah, Utah Jazz are the champions. Scores out of ten, Dane. Five. Jason. Five. Billy. Five. Dollar foot long. Yeah, I'm gonna go five as well. <laughs> five. Standing by five dollar foot long. It's cooked up catching your eyes for the next five. Any, just like, (laughs) oh, yeah, uh, Billy. I also pre ordered uh, Geats on Blu ray. Geats, oh boy, where's Mac McMuscle when you need him? Uh oh, (laughs) no. Uh-oh. It's a Eurocom game. Uh-oh. It's a, it's a oh, midway no. fighter. Oh, That's not Mortal Kombat. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, maybe, maybe this game will surprise us and not suck. I doubt that. Has this been on the Worst Fighting Game series? It's mid. It's mid? Okay, well, that's not a meet. That means uh, it'll be better than if one. it's better than Dark Rift. That's fine. Oh God! <laughs> I think a fucking colonoscopy is better than Dark Rift. That's fair. Mm. Fatality's off. What the fuck? Why, why would you? Why, why, why would you want, want fatality to do that? off? That'd be dumb. Fuck that! But I love the sample that they're using. That that freaking that is some '90s right there. Look at this boop and boop game. This boop and ass boop. boop and... and we haven't even started playing yet. Choose your god. Should oh, yeah. I be Warhead oh. or Kabuki, Kabuki Joe? Kabuki Joe. Kabuki Joe. Oh. Kabuki Joe. Maximus. Maximus. Anubis. 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 What about two Anubis. seconds? You're not going to have a choice. Oh, shit. I didn't realize there was a timer. Oh, I guess you're that yeah, guy. A I guess I'm a Haukin. I guess you're a Haukin. How can I? How can I? How can I? How can I? <laughs> so are you can. Okay. Whoa. Oh. God, they uh, even uh, move like Mortal Kombat characters. Wait a second. He. Hold on God a minute. Damn. His... You were hitting him and, and his energy wasn't going down. Did you see that? Wait a minute. What? Uh. Could be that you, my, it's one because of, my of the options you 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 did actually you, made did you make you actually in? yeah you 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 gave them the buff and you gave yourself the handicap oh, oh no I thought I turned I turned his all the way down though. <laughs> Yeah, uh, which which gave him the advantage and you the disadvantage. That's not how that works. See, look, 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 look. See, you're punching him. Look, see. Look. What the fuck is going? 
<laughs> it's terrible. When you turn somebody's thing all the way down, they're supposed to have the disadvantage. That is the really opposite not. of how it's know, supposed it's to work. It's turvy time. Apparently, it's opposite no. fucking day. Ooh. Right, well, no, no. Just... See, that's, that's player's skill level. You said that the player two had no skill, which means that they take no damage. What? And you take all the damage because you have oh. more skill than them. Let's just let's just watch this for the rest of, for the, rest of the play. Is... We're just doing the fucking okay. cha-cha. Well, now I want him to hit me and he won't. So I'm just going to soft reset. <laughs> that, yeah, Whoa. when you turn somebody's skill all the way down, that means that they, they should be shit. Not the greatest well, ever. Once again, evidently not. Oh god. No, that, was, just... that was a that was essentially a handicap menu. <laughs> this game is handicap. Yeah, see player one yeah, turn skill. skill Yeah, turn your skill down and turn their skill up. Wait. Again, uh, that is the no, opposite handicap. of how it's supposed to work. That sounds backwards though, don't that you is. think? It is backwards. That's a handicap. Then, okay. Then it's worded very poorly. Uh, I'm going to be... What are you expecting? This is not the greatest game ever. This is a very horrible fucking game. Uh, I have to Yeah. Say. So we got Kabuki Joe versus... Uh, we Sci-fi. have Terminator at home. Wish.com Terminator. Okay. There okay. Yeah, see? I I have to agree with Mike. I think this is a very backwards way of doing it. But again, it's War Gods. So, yeah. (laughs) Hey. What the? Hey, what the fuck? Oh. Okay. Cool. Uh, I yeah. guess. Poop and fury. Oh. AJ, see how it works. Kabuki Joe versus, yeah, versus token sex appeal chick. <laughs> with her butt hanging out. Yeah, with her butt out and her boobies out. With her, with her penises flapping in the wind. Her penises. Invisible cleavage. You heard me. I don't think I stuttered. <laughs> She's lying vertical. Her like, I was gonna say I loved that she was lying vertical, but you could still see her both of her breasts. <laughs> <That's> how over exaggerated <laughs> she is. Um, Prove yourself. Dip, 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 boom, 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 now, boom, I have easy fatalities on. That does not mean I know how to do them. <laughs> You know, I have. You, you win. Perfect. Hey, we're we're, we're referencing a much better game. Yeah. <laughs> this is silly. Do 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 do. <laughs> do, 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 do. This game is a fucking clown show. Yeah. Kabuki Joe looks like Wish.com Great Muda. No, he looks like Timu in Great Muda. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's even that's even worse. I, I love how Timu can't even decide on whether or not they're Timu or Tamu. If you can't even decide on that, you're you're in a big heap of trouble, buddy. Like, half their commercials are like, Temu, and half their commercials are Timu. And you're like, Take a fucking lane. And no, next you year, piece of ne- shit. next year the Super Bowl commercials, uh, they, they'll pronounce it Tamu. Tamu. <laughs> eh, we're a scan anyway. Who gives a fuck? Here's you know what? I'm surprised that they, I'm surprised they didn't shell out for uh, Tamara Morrison for their commercial, <laughs> just because his name is in Tamu. I get all my enamel pins for there, from there. They're actually uh, really good quality. Don't get 
You want a cookie from Temu or a metal from Temu? <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you want lead poisoning? Because that's how you get lead that's how you poisoning. Get lead poisoning. <laughs> Buy Hold your cookies on Temu. <laughs> If you get a cookie from Temu, it's probably like a fucking eyeball in it. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's oh. pinky finger. It's been injected with bat feces. Oh, that's what gives it its flavor. <laughs> the bat feces. Bat feces. <laughs> a bat feces. Uh, we do not so pronounce extra our vitamin B. Ours. The B that is, is for a, bat. That is a meat. <laughs> Uh, uh, contrary to popular belief, apparently, we don't actually is, apparently I am the Asian Elmer Fudd. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> I'm going to get at that the rescue rabbit. Oh. Would, you like to, would you like to see the uh, giraffe on my wheel? I just told you we do not do that. Well, I say like. For the book. For the God the, sakes. Hey. Hey. Shut up. Hey. <laughs> you, now you listen to me for the purposes of this joke. That's how I talk. You need to stop being racist. I mean racist. Fuck, you have me doing it now. Racist? <laughs> uh -huh. You mean you want me to tie shoes? No, why bring Thailand into this? Hey, Bangkok, <laughs> punch. <laughs> Hello, my name is Tai Mai Shu. I'll be rapping for you today. Tai <laughs> <laughs> Mai Shu. Tai Mai Shu. Mmm. Uh, mm. He's Cambodian. Mm -mm -mm. Seriously, there was there was like an old song that was like on file sharing platforms back in the day. It was like, hello, my name is Tai Mai Shu, and yes. I'll be rapping for you that's, today. That's true, but it was labeled Hit Me Baby One More Time by Britney Spears. Yeah. <laughs> Leave Britney alone. Why is Britney? So, so why is Britney have, a Southeast uh, Asian man? <laughs> so you have, uh, Leave alone. Legend of Zelda was mislabeled as a uh, system of a down. <laughs> really? Yeah. La, okay. la, that that la, song la, by la, the la, Rickman la, Joint. La, 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 la. It's a link. He come to town. He come to save. Princess Zelda. So that wasn't uh, that wasn't the guy from System over there. No, it was a band called The Rabbit Joint. Oh. Yep. Yeah, it's like how every parody song I'm ever I'm written. <laughs> every parody song ever written on file sharing platforms back in the day was Weird Al because <laughs> funny parody song was Weird Al. I ran over the Taco Bell dog. That that wasn't me, guys. Hi, I'm Red Al. <laughs> He's like every parody Versus song. Johnny is not my... <laughs> You idiot. <laughs> Versus press start. Versus what? You know, of all the badass characters, I I enjoy press start the most. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I I spent hours beating this game with press start. I'll tell you, good 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 times, good times. Yeah, great ten hit yeah, combo you know, that did absolutely no damage to me, fuck. You know the funny thing, you know, the thing is, you know, Kabuki Joe's religion surrounding him why are we bringing religion into this <laughs> i don't know you're playing a game it's a fucking War fighting the game gods. it's a War fucking Club. fighting game from the creators of mortal kombat or from the developers uh -huh. of mortal kombat i should say because it's not they didn't work for midway but still why do, why do we have the suspicion that billy's about to say something that's going to get bleeped well you know no, uh no. kabuki joe's religion uh in this religion he be yeah, it was it was going to be. So I it's good thing you stopped oh, me. I'm so glad With I I'm so glad I brought that up. Well, you know, Kabuki Joe Kabuki his Joe's religion, religion. <laughs> With a koala. Is hungry, 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 hungry. He worships feet. Well, <laughs> turned into Dane Cook. Wait, he worships wait, wait, feet. Wait. 
Oh, that's Tarantinism. He loves to go into KFC. It's feet looking good. Uh, <laughs> thanks for that mental chicken. image. Kentucky feet chicken. No, Kabuki uh, feet chicken. Sorry. <laughs> Kabuki feet chicken. We lick peepees, right? No, no. No, peepees pee -pee, pee -pee are not involved. It's just feet. Well, see that? It's the secret menu. You know, like how if you go into. <laughs> hey, hey, home slice. Can I have a bucket of pee pee, please? <laughs> sure thing. I would like the PP family bucket. Uh, I heard you guys cook a lot of cock in here. <laughs> hey, oh, brother! I tell you what, we can do get, that. We... Can I get a ten feet, ten piece family cock bucket, please? Mm. <laughs> would you like? Uh, would you would like you, the? Uh, would, you like, uh, would you like the cock sauce to go with that? <laughs> oh, sure. Ooh, like ooh, ooh. <laughs> we we are we're all in our we're all almost forty and we're doing this. I know, <laughs> isn't it wonderful? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I'm 25. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I, didn't ask you, I didn't ask you for your lies. <laughs> nobody, nobody asked you for your deceivery. And also, you're 32. Don't lie. <laughs> you fucking piece of shit. Forever young. I will think that I'm forever young. Mm. You're only as old as you feel. In that case, I'm 74. Forever young. Well, in that case, I should have. I died six years ago. <laughs> <laughs> your age act for shoe size. <laughs> <coughs> Act, act your age, mama, not your shoe size. Listen, Maybe we can listen if James Rolfe can still be AVGN at 43, I think I can still do this at 39, all right? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Hold on, i got to pause for a second because I'm re rearranging myself. Here we go. All right. Uh, not mm, in that way. You just you know, got to fucking get you your eyes. Uh, what are you talking about, Mike? I was not thinking of anything of the sort. Some people are. Yeah. Uh, Hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. Kabuki Joe is blue. Kabuki Joe is whoa! He was blowing fire at your way. I don't. How come I don't know it's how to do it? Hey, hi, art. <laughs> Return to innocence. AI art is for pure, quitters. Pure moods. Do you want to get high? Then listen to this CD. <laughs> then you do you want to get extreme? Then you want to do it on X E P W? Ah, uh, fuck. Uh, sure. The Sandman promo he was trying to do while the drunk. Get, get high and listen to songs by Enya and Enigma uh, and Enigma and Enya and. <laughs> and Deep Forest and Jan Hammer. Apparently, Crockett's theme is considered uh, New Age music. Okay. And Orinoco Flow. Oh my god, you actually walked a little elf. And Tubular Bells. You remember that, right? And Vangelis for Chariots of Fire, the worst fucking theme song in the world. And also the combination of Enigma and Enya called Enigma. <laughs> Which kind of sounds offensive, I'll be honest. What the fuck is that? Hey, listen. Have you ever heard of en Enya, uh, Enigma's sister, Ligma? <laughs> lig, lig, Ligma Taint? Thanks, thanks, Bill. That was the joke. <laughs> Yeah. Jesus. That is one that, old I got tired of him uppercutting black. me, so I just was like, punch, 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 that punch. Looks, that looks like a fucking Kremlin on steroids. This looks like if Bebop fucked Rocksteady in a pile of slime. Oh. 
That looks like if Bebop fucked Rocksteady and Krang joined in in the middle. <laughs> Get those turtles! <laughs> I want you to work this shit! It looks like Rawhead Rex uh, has a weight problem. Oh my god, he does kind of look like Rawhead Rex. Oh Get no. that Kabuki Joe! Anybody All ever right. seen? I mean, I mean, now I know Dane, you've seen that movie Rawhead Rex, I, obviously, where he's peeing on the Jesus, priest. Jesus, everything's yellow. All right, welcome to Piss World. Oh, I guess the last level that you were in is in the background there to the right. Oh, nice. Who are you fighting, PP Joe? <laughs> it's what is it. going on here? Otherwise known as Angry Joe. It's, it's the I'm guy kidding. from the box art. <laughs> oh. oh, he looks like a, he looks like fucking he belongs in the Boogerman game. Jesus, Billy, you get any on you? I think I did. My God, I think I did. Uh, oh my oh, God, I did. God. Oh God, I did. Oh, I did. Why didn't I close As the end of my penis like Mario told me to? <laughs> oh God, I remember when Mario and I first kissed. It was awful. Just As, awful. as of right now. At this recording, um, I am down to 316 pounds. Nice. Nice. That's it. Lost to 316 yeah. says that's a nice weight, son. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Don't make me drop you on that stack of necks, you I call mean, a dime. I, I mean, beat my know, wife. The people drop, ignore that. What? You know, dropping from 408 down to here. Is a big weight loss. That's ninety-two pounds. Now wait a minute. Hold on. How do he? How do he win when I have like ten times the health? <laughs> that I, makes how do? no fucking sense. Mike, uh, are you really that fucking to right my mind? It's war gods. I shouldn't. Right? I shouldn't question it. The time ran out, and you didn't beat him in the time. Therefore, he win. That's stupid. I had more that health than him. I should if win. You, That's you, how you, every you, other you, fighting game works. Shao Kahn, if he, this is stupid. But he's the final boss, and no therefore, no even on tools. other game fighting games, in the final boss, if you have more health than him when time expires, you still win. Well, Mike, do you want to know what's I have stupid? Never... <laughs> this what, game. What do you expect, Quarter Muncher? I have never played Mortal Kombat, fought Shao Kahn, and then when he's got a sliver of health, and I got a full health bar, and time expires, and the game goes, nope, fuck you, Shao Kahn wins. That's not how and Shao Kahn just goes, you suck. He I mean, just that. look at how he fucking spams those attacks, too. Like, this is programmed with a few attacks. I mean, yeah, I'm probably going to lose again because I'm going to run out of time. Yeah. Because he won't let me get a fucking hit in. Yeah, that's how you beat somebody whose health part never goes down. Don't that's... let him get a hit in edgewise and then cheat the rules. Oh, my God. God, oh, this game. God. Thoughts on War Gods, Dane? I just said this game fucking sucks. I think it 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 really ranks up there in the worst games you've played on the N sixty four. Jason, yeah. Jason. Yeah, this is an ass fighting game. Uh, they were using their whole body. <laughs> Billy, it, it, it's it's just oh sorry, <laughs> oh, shit. I thought Jason was done. That's right. Oh. Oh, you're you're. No, Billy's Billy's continuing my thought from his buttocks. That's where yep. Billy does his best thinking, yep. or his best stinking. <laughs> anyway, uh, speaking of stinking, uh, yeah. War gods, more like snore gods. Am I right? It's more like raw dogs. <laughs> Cause, yeah, because I felt like nah, I got fucked with no lube even. or condom. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, scores out of 10, Dane. Zero. Jason. Two. Because it's a number two? <laughs> yep. Billy. Is that a zero or a two? Yeah, well, what did it sound like? Two. All right. I will give it a zero because I don't think this game deserves even a two. I, I don't think this game would be worthy to hold the turd that comes out of my butt. 
<laughs> if I were to poop on this game, this I game think that would is be sloppy diarrhea. Enough. I think that would be an honor for this game. What, in any sloppy event, diarrhea? Yes. In any event, let's spin this fucking wheel for the last yep. time and find out what we're playing. No, all Final we need to do episode. is see the other game that they made. Let's see what we're playing. Oh, Lord. All right. Mace the Dark Age. Uh, no. Nope. Oh. It's the longest running game show on TV. And it hurts me when my I do. Set game length. Sure, why not? No. On with the show. No. No. Spine. No, yeah, no, no, I ran no, no, this no, game no, a lot no. back in the day. SpongeBob, I'm trying to oh, watch hi, my You're son. not the actual host. And in about a year, neither will pay, pay, Pat CJ. Pate CJ. He's not even going to be the host anymore. Well. It'll be Ryan C. Crest. Ugh. Yeah. Could they get somebody else, please? I mean, I'll do it. I'm a game show fan. I'll do it. <laughs> hey, listen, I'll, Ken, I'll do Ken, it. Ken Janning set a precedent. People who are huge fans of the show can actually go on to host them. <laughs> well, that, that means I have a shot with hosting uh, You Don't Know Jack. Nice. Yeah. And, Billy, and Billy has a shot I hosting mean... Big Titted Asian Women. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh, uh, I, I I literally look like the Jackbox logo. It's fair. It's true. You should go. Yeah, you, you should know dra- what? You should do that for Halloween. You should just put a big cardboard box around your head. <laughs> Billy, I would. I, I didn't. Would, if I, I wanted to hear it. from an asshole, well, I did uh, because you farted. So. <laughs> <laughs> I would totally give up my spot to Jay since he looks more like Cookie than I ever could. We we don't actually know what Cookie looks like. Yes, we do because he appears in a he appears in a clue in Fibbage Four, you know, one of those uh, viewer submitted things. There's a there's a game where he's locked in the closet and he says, "Hi, I'm Tom from Chicago," and he he does this clue like he's pretending like he's giving away that he's Cookie, but it, as it turns out, he just he swerves you, but it is actually Tom Goddard. Uh, <laughs> so yes, he, we do know what he looks like. <laughs> we just never got to that to that particular game in the Fibbage Four. That's one of the yeah. uh, that's one of the preset games. That what, you come pack are they at? what what pack are they at right now? Uh, the last one. Oh uh, man, the I last like one that just came out was ten. Yeah, and we didn't even get it because it was we didn't care. It was too. It was. More expensive than any of the other party packs that ever came out, and we only liked the possibility of maybe one of the game. So I was waiting for the pack it's, to actually come down in price before I bothered even trying to get it. It it, it is not a bad party pack. It's it is on sale, but it's its sale price is a normal party pack price right now. Uh, that's true. And I, actually, I think it might even be a, a dollar or two more expensive than the important normal party uh. pack guys still. I'm waiting for it to be like fifty percent off before I even fucking bother. Because, like I said, the only game in there that I care about, that I think we would have fun with, is Fixie Text. Everything else, I mean, TKO two might be okay, but the re- the the reality is, is the rest of those games are just meh. The only game I've heard anything good about besides Fixie Text was Do Re Mi, and that's not something we're probably going to play. So, that's pretty fun. It is, Basically but like I, I prefer, yeah. That's it's it's like a music rhythm game. I just don't. Oh, I know this. Well, there is that one that um, I, I don't know if it's from the new one where you um, aha, yeah, like community art something and out of the running, out of the running, yay! Yeah. 
Oh, like Ron DeSantis. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> when Mickey Mouse has you by the balls, you know you just need to just. Unless it's Steamboat Willie yeah. Mickey Mouse. Then you really then, then everybody owns him. The I own Steamboat Willie now. I mean, think about it. <laughs> uh, riff tracks actually riff that. Uh... That short. Uh, yeah. They riffed it. They, it was, they when they found out that it went on uh, public domain, public domain. Like, they were like, boom. Here comes the boom. When they found that, you can, you can put that in the is, Rift Tracks game. Yeah, I think uh, all... John Oliver used uh, somebody in a Steamboat Willie costume to promote his new costume yeah. last week tonight, which is fucking Steamboat cool. Willie. It, all the basically all the Mickey Mouse cartoons from that era, the Steamboat Willie era, are public domain now. And so uh, speaking of last week domain. tonight, uh, John Oliver made a hell of a statement. Yeah. An offer valid for 30 days. I'd like to buy it out. A contract. Yeah. Hey. Clarence Thomas can step down from the Supreme Court and would get a brand new motor coach and a million dollars a year for life for as long as Clarence Thomas or John Oliver lives. You know, I kind of, I kind of hope uh, Clarence Thomas takes that offer. Yeah, John Oliver is I, the chaotic good that we need in this world. Eh. Yeah, he even like walked off set to show off the brand new motor coach, and it's like, it's got like one and a half baths, four bedrooms, and like I'm like, holy crap, that is a fucking condo on wheels. But you know what, Clarence Thomas is going to say to him, "F off." Yeah. You know what that's what he'll say. You know, yeah, you know what people he's, will he's say about his friends. I don't I am not sure what this puzzle is yet. I know the second word, obviously. Uh, uh it says rear admiral in the uh No, uh, Billy pint. stop. <laughs> you knew you knew how wrong that was before you Yeah, I know. Before you have a before you have a thought, let it go. Before you have an angel. Nah. Ah, oh, no O's, damn it. What the fuck is this? It says the cowboy butts drive you nuts. <laughs> what the fuck, Billy? You know what? Sure, oh, there's a U. Exactly. I picked the wrong vowel. It should have been a, it should have picked a U. Is there a W? I'm still trying to... Is there a is there a Cyrillic H? <laughs> Uh, is, there, is there a German B, the the German little weird B that actually means two S's? A uh, uh, backwards R. It's actually a sh sound. Is there a schwatoosh? What, a, Billy? You schwa? made that up. I know. Is there a schwa? Oh, twenty five hundred. There's, um, there's three schwas. Is there a towel in there? There's two towels. And yes, that is so, an actual. Uh, that is that is a Hebrew letter. <laughs> is there a tov in there? I... <laughs> is 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 there a a, a a one? Is there that little eagle thing in the Egyptian writings? This is a ridiculous. The talking like, mule. Yeah, I'm thinking that's what it is. Francis the Talking Mule? I think. Yeah, that's an actual movie. Yeah, that's it. Wow. Is there a swastika? No, there is no swastika. I don't know what you're talking about. No. We do not have that here. We were, we were invited to Czech Poland. Listen, we skipped from 1905 all the way to 1934. I don't know what you're talking about. 1905? When when they ball dropped in 1905, it was suddenly 1934. It was suddenly um, 1945. Look, nothing bad happened between 1934 and 1945. Absolutely nothing. Exactly. 
not seen you know, it's, it's, it's ridiculous that Clarence seen. Thomas is friends with a dude who has a Hitler collection. I thought you were going to say Tip Clarence there's, Thomas is friends well, with there's a dude. Well, there's a lot of people that have a lot of collections. Yeah, like an actual, like this guy has a signed copy of Mein Kampf. Well, I hate to mm. say that it's actually worth a lot of money. Well, you know, I... And, and like monogrammed freaking napkins from you know, Hitler. My pride and joy is I have a uh, PlayStation 4 that's signed by Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys, I hate to say it. Moist. Ugh, see, I mm. hated to say uh, that. I, oh, I don't, I don't like that word. <laughs> oh, uh, somebody, somebody said my name. Somebody yeah. said my name. Yeah. Oh, hey, so I you know, this, someone... this game uh, gives me the shits. Uh, it is so bad that it makes me want to uh, punch a baby in the snuzzages. Is he, is he half Asian? Uh, most critical. Mm, I don't think so. He looks like we, it. Well, if we if we tell Jace to do his moist critical compression, he could just speak in his normal voice. <laughs> mm. Pretty much the same voice, my dude. <laughs> See, I'm not the my, only one my, that thinks my, that. My regular, my regular speaking voice is somewhere between moist critical and John Benjamin. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> that is true. Which yeah. is funny, yeah. considering John Benjamin is Whoa. from Massachusetts. Holy shit, that was a lot of L's. Have, have you seen his, the the commercials he's in right now where he's playing the pigeon? The pigeon, yeah. Well, Moist Critical is from just Tampa, keeping, Florida. So. Just, just keeping it real. Yeah. Do people still say that? <laughs> uh, I'm going to buy yeah, an Mo- eye, and if the, if the is, eye is uh, here, then I know what it is. Oh, yep, I know exactly what this is. Okay. I'm solving. Where was he? He doesn't live in Tampa anymore? No, he's still down in Florida. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> in fact, uh, he's he's friends with another uh, really popular YouTuber, uh, uh, Hugbees. Hugbees! Mail call of the wild. Hugbees! Because it, <laughs> uh, it was a before and after, so... He's actually friends with a lot of VTubers, Dang. too. Dang. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Nuck, 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 uh, I think his talent agency actually manages a few VTubers oh, as well. Oh, Christ. Oh. Well, I didn't yeah, have uh, Nuck, there, Taku, so right. I believe, is one of them. Yeah, call out them letters. Have you seen the uh, the, the uh, Mythos group right now? Uh, Mythos Group. Is, is that the, the stuff going on with uh, Niji Sanji? No. They're a totally different group. They're literally oh, okay. like female versions of the Greek gods. Oh, okay. They they Right now, they have Poseidon, Zeus, uh, Hades, huh. and Apollo right now. Apollo That's is brand new. She just came, uh, she just came out um, on, on YouTube. Oh, good Not, for her. No, not that type of come out. No, I mean she <laughs> premiered. <laughs> I knew you were gonna go well, I mean, for that. Well, I mean, she considering premiered. Greek gods, you yeah, know, when, Greek gods, yeah. Actually, can when we when a gay person comes out, can they just can we just say they premiered from the closet? Premiered. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, That's she just premiered. Just <laughs> sure, it was Dane. Sure it was. That's 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 right. Okay. That's 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 I'll put in my rap in Zoidberg tape. Oh, it always makes the trip go faster. Da, 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 that's my job. Da, 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 that's my job. <laughs> I like part of all. You know, this is oh, one no. of the rare... Um, no, it was made by Game, it was made by game but, Tech, Billy. Well, no. This is one of the rare... Rare did make one of the uh, Wheel of Fortune game. games, though, back in the day. Yeah. Speaking of thoughts on Wheel of Fortune, Dane... Um, 
I mean, I'm not a fan of Wheel of Fortune to begin with, so watching your game version this, of it this is, is not. This looks like it, it's going to say Flushlight. But I know that's not the case. <laughs> well, considering that light is Flashlight. five letters, and that's well, clearly it be four L-I-T-E. letters. L-I-T-E. L-I-T-E. I guess. But yeah, this oh, game no, is pretty... No. Okay, thank God. This game is pretty boring. Yeah. Jason. I mean, it's Wheel of Fortune. It hasn't changed much over the years other than, say the title you know, the different bonus rounds. Jason, can you say the title of the game again for me? Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Because first time you said Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> I thought we were going to have Fortune. a Stewie. I thought we were going to have a Brian and Stewie conversation there for a second. Uh, Billy. You, you know what? You might, you, th- this whole episode is ruined. <laughs> It's Wheel of Fortune. I mean, it's kind of hard to mess it up. It's kind of hard, yeah. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, like Billy said, it's hard to mess up Wheel of Fortune. Press start. Why? All right. I'll just pause it. Yeah, it's it's kind of hard to mess up Wheel of Fortune. And I, I'm a game show fan, as you all know. Um, I don't really watch a lot of Wheel of Fortune, but uh, it's fine. Oh, I do. There's nothing wrong with this game. Uh, if you like Wheel of Fortune and... You know, you want to see the set in 3D, I guess. That's really... I mean, you could really, really play any of the Wheel of Fortune games and get the same experience. FMVs of Vanna White. Yeah. Who is Vanna not White, the like, host? Uh, about 30 years younger. Scores out of 10, Dane. I give it a cool whip out of 10. I... How do I put that on the scoreboard? Okay, fine. Five. Two. All right. Uh, Jason. <laughs> I give it a seven. Interesting. Billy. I'll give it a five. I'm going to give it a six. On this edition... Those are some wildly different numbers. Yeah, that was some wildly different scores. Uh, on this edition, we played NBA in the Zone 98, War Gods, and Wheel of Fortune. Best game of the episode, Dane. I think by default, NBA. Billy. NBA. Jason. Wheel of Fortune. I'm also Ooh. going to go Wheel of Fortune. Oh, 50-50. Jeez, Louise. Splitting, splitting it down the middle. That's in 64 for you. Thanks for joining us for this edition of the Roulette. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe. Be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane ford Jason Amherst, and Billy Carter, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time on Retro Roulette. Good night, everybody. Bye.